Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I just wanted to pop on um, being December now, December 1st, there's a lot going on, wow. Um, so <laughs> I don't know about how you all are doing, but my body has definitely been going through it. Um, a lot of ache and pain in the neck and in the teeth and even knee aches, which I haven't had since I was a little kid and growing pains kind of stuff. Um, so I just thought, you know, so much has already been pouring through uh, all of last week for December and the codes and the uh, the light codes, the continual shifts. Um, wow, just, you know, initiation upon initiation. And I wanted to just touch base because we do have the eclipse coming up on Friday, Saturday, depending on where you are on the planet. And it's a new moon, full solar eclipse in Sagittarius. Um, I'm seeing a lot of patterns with myself personally and clients and friends and people out in the collective right now purging a lot of um, really deep themes that are kind of beyond our conception. Really deep and specific things are what I'm seeing um, in common with a lot of different people in my reality. So I thought, you know, these are important things to share just to support the process. Um, what I'm seeing a lot of more recently is, well, I guess I should start at the beginning. It's such a big topic. So it was about mid-November that I started to receive these activations that had to do with the Christ child, the inner Holy Christ child. And that kind of continued to expand into the Holy child and the magical child. And from there also the wounded child. These are all aspects. Uh, Carolyn Mace, her work is so awesome. Or Mace, Carolyn Mace, the archetypes. These really help us to heal really deep subconscious parts of the psyche where we have these different fractals that are these archetypal themes or symbolic stories that we all have you know, different combinations of in our experience. So just to kind of try to bring it together, the themes of inner child, the deep wounds that could have been the most simple experience um, are coming up now to be seen and released. And some of them are, for instance, shame, um, being told that, you know, maybe that your magic was stupid or inappropriate, um, you know, stern figures that are kind of persecuting. And that's a deep theme too, persecution, you know, there, that's Christ on the cross right there. So what we're seeing right now are truly um, on a biblical level of symbolic imagery and emotion and memory. And this is all part of activating the inner Christ. These are aspects of the awakening and the um, light body and physical embodiment of our light, of our Christ itself um, that everyone has to go through. So the experiences as far out as they are, you know, they're unique to each person, but the themes are there, the patterns are there that we can see. So I just wanted to share that um, we never really know consciously um, how the shards of memories of trauma, you know, or deep core wounds, what they are, um, and how they're going to show up, but that's just what I'm seeing lately, and just wanted to share that because it's hard to put into words, but the magic of what is here and what is available, the new earth codes are here, they are all around, uh, people are all over the place with this, I see people living in them every day and sharing about them and how they got there, uh, I see those of us having some experiences there, you know, and we're kind of straddling between dimensions as we're exiting three and four to get into 5D, which is just the base level. It's like, you know, the, the um, home floor or the first floor um, for new earth because it's coming into heart-centered consciousness. Well, what's happening is we're coming into heart-centered consciousness. Everything in our heart, which is fraction, which is a fractal or wounding, is going to come up for review so that we can integrate and start to come into wholeness beyond our our, our imagination and it's just fantastic um we become like one huge giant heart chakra you know that's the tube torus and all these other layers on top of that so we have these themes of our childhood and things that happened to us in our childhood that made us feel badly about ourselves 
And they, again, like I said, they could be really, really kind of basic things, you know, where maybe someone, a parent or, or a perceived authority figure was unconscious for a moment and said something, you know, maybe they didn't even mean it the way we took it, but we took it so deeply to the core of our being um, that it became just kind of, you know, some of that deeper baggage that we don't even know we have, and it's in our way of creating consciously. So I hope that this makes sense. I'm trying to be as succinct with this as possible. These are very deep topics, and with how my body is feeling, it's very hard to sit still, and um, my brain is working differently as well. And I have a lot of other codes for the month of December that have been coming in that I want to share. Um, but the gist of the journey right now is that these deeper aspects of our child, Christ child, the, the archetypal divine, magical, holy child that is so pure and just loves to play and create and just love everyone and is completely free from any kind of a stain, the pure Christed child within us we're really close to that. We are embodying it fully and it's a process and it's been within us the entire time. It's never left, but there have been bandages on our hearts. And, you know, I see like this super tightly coiled Lotus, the petals that are around the heart space and they have to open up one by one um, in a safe space in just the divine time of your process. So all of that being said, TLC, I was reflecting on earlier in the journey, I needed permission, my human ego needed permission to take care of myself and had a lot of resistance to it. Uh, now it's second nature. So I just remember, you know, back where I was, uh, when these concepts of self care were new. And just want to stress self-care, 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 tenderness beyond measure. How would you care for a sick child that's like three or four years old um, that needs all the creature comforts, the nourishing food, the right environment, a supportive environment, beautiful music, sounds, just pleasantry, nature, simple, baths. That's why I'm doing the light body prana yoga, the restorative series. It's all about the nervous system because the influxes of light are so beautiful and so incredible. And just, I mean, wow, beyond my imagination, I'm consistently blown away. And many of us are, I'm sure you are too. I'm sure you can feel the magic. That's why we're here. That's why we're staying in. And what does the light do? It comes in and it pushes and pulls and purges out density. Well, if we're having, you know, super high peak experiences of Christ consciousness and all of the bliss and, and the heart expansion, well, then we're going to have, you know, the opposite energetic perhaps come forth and through us. And it's really important to hold compassionate space. I'm telling you guys, I mean, as someone who spent a lot of time doing uh, many different plant medicines, like 13, 14, 15, 19 years ago, this is like an ayahuasca experience, everything coming up. And it's all about enlightenment and embodiment. And if I could share, I share this often in my talks with people. Remember when Buddha was close to his enlightenment, sitting under the Bodhi tree, well, what, what presented in his consciousness were distractions and also just aspects of his being that he had to see through, that he would have to understand were a part at some point but they weren't the whole part because it's all about where we're putting our focus. You know, are we putting our focus on the divine God within, or are we focusing on being flawed? That being said, it's really important to keep coming back to neutrality because when our trauma patterning comes up, we need to not judge ourselves. And for this, I want to share something that impacted me so deeply years ago. Buddhist teacher, uh, Jeff Foster said, you know, if your emotions showed up at your door as little children and your trauma and whatever your needs were, whatever the suffering was within your mind and your heart. If it showed up at your door of your home as little children, would you let them in? What would you do? And I thought, oh, fuck. And it was just a huge epiphany for me because I realized that I was running unconsciously the loops of abusive talk. They had become my self-talk but it was verbal abuse that I experienced from my dad growing up. So, you know, these things are so deeply ingrained within us that, you know, 
we don't know how to see them until we're ready to see them. And you are ready to see them. That's why it's happening. So don't lose your shit. Breathe. Nature. Beautiful music. Dancing when your body feels good. When your body doesn't feel good, I recommend laying under a tree or laying in your bed and filling your bed with crystals and surrounding your bed with beautiful art and snuggling with your children and just with your animals. Like, take care. Slow down. Um, it's a fun thing to think about the sacred snail medicine or the sacred sloth medicine, you know, just how slow can we flow because we are in a state of perpetual glow like that's what's fucking happening right now. It's wonderful, but it's a huge cleanse. So some of the other codes for December. I will also read the write ups that I've done so it's going to transition into podcast format for you guys, so I can't recall them all right now in the space that I'm in. So uh, um, just wanting to send so much love and encouragement and remember that you have permission. Eventually we give ourselves permission because this becomes an ingrained habit of self-care. It becomes a no brainer and second nature, but we have to build that. We have to build that. So this is your permission slip, not that you need it at all uh, to be and to do what you need to do or not do right now and really listen and hold your precious heart tenderly in your hands like the jewel that it is it is beautiful and we're learning and seeing so much we're expanding so much i mean it is mind-blowing um it's hard to keep up so i'll keep sharing everything that i see and experience with you all to support you in this space and welcome to december welcome to rebirthing yourself and i mean it that's why all the childhood stuff is coming up like I just keep shaking my head because I'm just mind blown at what I've been seeing, feeling, releasing within myself, all of the emotions coming up. Um, and just in so many, we are rebirthing ourselves through our body and you can feel it physically. Uh, some days, the last like three or four days, I was really starting to lose it because I feel like I just got hit by a truck and it's all of the different frequencies and all of this lower back pain. And last night I was just like, oh my God, like I can't take it anymore. Like what the fuck, you know? And then higher self is like, well, when was the last time you felt like this? When you were in labor, guess what? You're in labor. And I was like, whoa, you know, so that's, that's what's going on. We are rebirthing ourselves and all of the childhood wounds need to be integrated, hugged, loved, like, you know, quantum energetic kind of healing so that we can fully step up and build new earth and be new earth and share this together through ourselves, through unified consciousness. So all of that stuff with the child, okay? Well, what is December 12? Well, 12, three, okay? Numerology, one plus two equals three. There's the Trinity again. There's the divine Christ child. So the reason that the child is coming forth and how synchronistic is this? I mean, I have to crack up. Like I wouldn't ha have expected, you know, to be birthing a Christ child that's my own during the time of Christmas. So I think the universe, God has a really funny sense of humor also divinely perfect sense of, of alignment for everything. It's like, wow, tis the season I'm cracking up, you know, as I'm doing this write up about what I'm seeing and feeling. So that's why the child aspect is coming forth so strongly so that we can be the Trinity because a lot of us, it was a lot easier to embody our tribal, tribal elder, our medicine person, uh, heavenly father, cosmic mother, mother, Mary, Yeshua. It was a lot easier for me at least to embody the parents before the child so it makes sense that we have to integrate our divine feminine and our divine masculine and you know collapsing it down into heroes gamos in the heart space then going deeper into the heart then you're going to find the inner child and that all needs to be blossomed into the christ child as well so it's a little bit for december of course there's much more to come and just wishing you guys all a fabulous eclipse. If I don't get a video out by then, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. It's really hard to even be upright. So I'm just sending you lots of love. I'm welcoming you and thanking you and supporting you all the way. So happy week, <laughs> happy December, and I'll see you all soon.